Hello, I'm Lars Rostrom and I'm the author of The Last Alchemist in Paris. A book that has an alchemist in Paris in it, obviously, although he was actually better known for other things. But a book that also has a more serious side, as it partly deals with the resources of our planet and how we deal with the limits of those. And um, we talk about these in terms of the elements of the periodic table the chemical compounds and molecules they come in. Uh, and whenever we have a problem with limits of compounds, resources, elements, this is going to be a source of conflict. But it can also be a source of change and innovation. And there will be examples of, of both these aspects in some of these different stories. So one thing I'm going to tell you about is um, when there was not enough nail varnish remover during World War I, or the time when we really thought there was a problem with the uranium supply, or when the US Navy was partly grounded because of a helium problem. Some of these things obviously we have solved, so there is now enough nutmeg, there is enough drugs against Parkinson's disease, and we also have enough pencil lead but that was not always the case, and those are also some other stories in these books. Um, but in all these cases, the human element is very important. It, it is as important as the chemical element, and that's why this stories, these stories is about people, maybe more than about the elements of the periodic table. Uh, so it's not really a book about the discoveries of the elements and things like that. It's more about how humans have met elements and interacted with them and what have been the consequences of this. So we're going to meet a number of different people, um, Hollywood actresses like Julia Roberts, politicians, rock stars, sailors braving storms in the Atlantic, uh, authors and authors, heroines, and a number of other people. Uh, so I tell these stories, but in order for you to appreciate these stories a bit more, uh, there is a chemical side to these things that you need to know. And therefore there will be some key chemical concepts explained during the book. Um, sometimes in a little bit unconventional way. Uh, there are going to be zebras popping up here and there. Uh, so I'll try to do this very differently from, from school textbooks. And I really think this is an important thing to do because um, sometimes in popular science books we are very eager to tell you how things are happening but not why. So it's a little bit like in the murder story, finding out who is the murder but not finding the motive. But in this book we will be provided with the motive as well.